Yeah, Milton. You just sitting there. Oh, you just sitting there being a good boy. Say, it's not snowing anymore. Say, I don't want to be out here. The green grass. What is this? Madeline, come here. What are you guys doing? Madeline! Madeline! She's not listening to me. Milton! Aw, come on. Morning, guys. I am up on my bike. No zip in so far this morning. I kind of woke up a little late, so I didn't have time to start it. It's a sunny day. I'm feeling great. It's kind of cold. You can see my breath. Milton and Madeline are way back there, so I'm gonna have to yell at them in a second. Hey! Hey, Milton Madeline! But <laughs> I am on my bike, getting my outside workout in, feeling great. Milton! Come on! While I'm riding my bike in the morning, I like to listen to Clubhouse. So Chef Michael Keto, he actually hosts a Keto Clubhouse every single morning. And it's just a check-in where people come and talk about their keto success and stories, and sometimes there's a topic. It's kind of like a live podcast, so it's a great thing to listen to while I'm on my bike. <sighs> Feeling great. It's a sunny day. Everything's beautiful. Hope you're doing good, too. My husband's so cute <laughs> in his robe and his hat. They're so beautiful. <sighs> Not to talk about that on camera. <laughs> come here. Come say hi. Look at, my, look, at my, look at my comfortable husband. You're so cozy. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Morning, guys. I am off my bike. I am starting off the day with the usual. I have that Red's uh, turkey egg witch that I popped into the microwave. It is delicious. I added salt, pepper, and hot sauce. And then I got my cello wisps. I love starting the day with my cheese snacks. This is what? five total carbs for this whole thing. I think I might be under 20 total the whole day. I will definitely make sure to let you know, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I got my water peeking behind somewhere back there, uh, and I'll keep you in the loop. What is my husband doing? Somebody was yelling at me to get started. I was not yelling at you. I simply <laughs> informed you what time it was. I love you. And inquired what would be the best time for you to start cooking my lunch day. That's a pretty Mm-hmm. Well, I can't see your face. You're in the light. Oh, there's my husband. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So All I'm is forgiven. So what I'm doing is preparing my wife's flank steak. Mm-hmm. It's basically a simple recipe of salt, pepper, and olive oil. Mm-hmm. My baby's gonna flank it up. Mm. Easy peasy flank steak squeezy. That's all I'm saying. I'm the hugest fan of flank steak now. I love how it's like a sheet of meat. I think that's what it is. I like the meat sheet. I think it is. Oh my gosh. Listen to that sizzle. Look at the meat sheets. I love you. I love you. I love you, flank steak. Now I'm talking about flank steak. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I am on the bike while Richard is cooking me up some meats. We are multitasking, right? So that way, when I'm done on the bike, it will immediately be time for my steak meats, right? So I am riding my bike, playing my tablet, watching Money Heist. Comment down below. Have you seen Money Heist on Netflix? I'm not even gonna say that it's good, but we just kept watching it. Like, it, there was a lot to watch. That's really what drew us to it, was that, whoa, there's four seasons of this. Like, let's get into something, you know? And so, even though every episode we're like, come on, <laughs> that would not happen. We still watched all of it though. We're still watching, so it's, uh, you know, quite the global phenomenon. Comment down below, let me know if you watch it. Good does not have to be a prerequisite for like cult favorites. So that's how I feel. Let me know how you feel. I feel impatient wanting to get off this bike and wanting to eat some of my steak, but I got about 20 more minutes and then it'll be time to eat. Hey guys, if you can see right here, my delicious, amazing uh, steak meats is all the way done. Uh, but 
that's not enough for me to meet my high protein macros that I have, you know, set up for this week. So look what I got room for, more ground beef. So like, I'm trying to figure out if I want to turn this into like a taco meat situation, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use like salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder. And just the flavor of ground beef itself is delicious. Now I'll probably put some hot sauce in there because y'all know how I do, but like, I'm just literally going to brown up some ground beef and eat it with a spoon. Like that's, that's literally where we are right now in my macros. And, but to be honest, like, let's be honest. I love ground beef. So like, this isn't a chore at all. This isn't like, oh my God, she's resorting to, you know, eating ground beef with a spoon. No, no, no. I love this stuff, right? So it's actually, you know, a treat to get, eat, to, get to eat the ground beef. So I am going to just brown this up, have some of this, and then my husband's gonna slice into that amazing steak. Uh, and then that's basically my meal prep for today. It's just meat, right? I don't have a problem with it at all. I'm here for it. Okay guys, this is a meager four ounces of ground beef. I did end up putting a little bit of chili powder, some cayenne pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper in here. So this is kind of just the little macro capper. The main part of my meal is going to be that flank steak that my husband has yet to cut for me, but this is ground beef. Let me go ahead and try it out for you. Ground beef on a spoon. Mm-hmm, mm. Mm. This will be a great little appetizer for my steak lunch. Okay guys, it's meat time, right? So my husband made up that amazing flank steak and of course, after he sliced it, I put it back on the stove top to get a little more browner, right? But then also so that I could put that G Hughes steak sauce on there. So basically it's just these little shaved pieces. Oh, the beef, oh, it's so hot. Oh, okay. But sure, I will, I will tear into one like a savage if I must for the sake. Gosh, I'm showing you guys. Look at that. Mm. The flavor is delicious, and I don't mind having this at all. Like once again, this is delicious. So I don't know. It might, might not be too far away from carnivore after all. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna pick through this like a straight savage, right? And then um, I'll see what I have for dessert. But this is lunch. Okay, guys. So meat lunch is over, and it was amazing. And honestly. For my macros, like what I've calculated, I'm supposed to be having my whipped cream chocolate fluff, but that just seems like a lot of effort right now. Like I, I personally spent a lot of time and energy making all of the meat today. Like that was solely my endeavor. So I'm just kind of spent, right? So luckily I have some of these chocolate peanut butter keto bars. These are once again, my favorite clean snack. Yeah, it has more total carbs than I had, you know, rationed for, but I really feel like this is a growing moment because I'm not wigging out that like, oh no, if I don't stick exactly to my plan, it's all gonna go to hell. You know, it's just like, eh, this is me intuitively eating right now, right? I'm just like, you know, I don't want the chocolate whip fluff, so let me have like the next best thing, right? So I'm gonna have this, I'm drinking my water, and then that'll be it for the day. So uh, I will let you know, I'll probably have a diet soda or something like that, and I will let you know when I finish my gallon, but the meat portion of the day is over and it is dessert time. And we're watching The Rookie. Now this is a show I like, you know, I do like The Rookie. Comment down below. What show are you currently like watching that you like? Let me know, cause me and my husband are always in the market for new television. So let us know and then I will keep in the loop if I have something else today. So fudgy, so fudgy. Mm. This is my favorite, this is my favorite. Now I still have about a half gallon of water to drink, but that's not gonna stop me from uh, enjoying my Cherry 7-Up. I, I really like the flavor of this, so I've been having one about every other day, uh, and I will be getting in my water, but still having a 7-Up. Okay guys, I am done for the day. My water is done. I'm sitting down watching TV. One division is on tonight, like, it was a great day for television overall, but I am really liking my high protein situation and I've been feeling really good recently with just kind of like not making such a big deal out of what I eat, I guess. Like there's just, there just comes a time where you have to balance like what you're eating with 
how you feel about yourself and how you feel about living your life. And so I feel like in, in weight loss culture and, you know, keto, we always feel like we could or should be doing more. And right now I'm just at the place where like, hey, I'm sick of thinking about it so much. So I am just really, you know, pleased with my mindset around it. And I know one day maybe I'll care about the number on the scale, but right now I'm really just concerned about lifting weights and getting stronger and trying to optimize my diet overall. Like it's just, and my priorities are kind of shifting a little bit, which is really interesting, but you know, meal prepping is important. Meal planning is still important. You know, I'm just, still working through it so I am glad that you guys are on this journey with me that being said it has been a long day and I'm ready to go to sleep so thanks so much for joining me and I will catch you next week bye okay you're gonna turn that off anytime soon Everything you want to do. Uh, oh, okay. Now that's for the okay. sake of our marriage. Uh, okay.